and welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous once again. Thank you for tuning in to the channel today. I do appreciate your your time and your patience with me as we continue uh, to look at agriculture and farming, small scale farming in the Dominican Republic. As I mentioned in my last video, in this video, we're going to continue to talk a little bit more about why I'm making this change to uh, farming and give you a little bit of an outline of some of the uh, topics that are to come. One of the new things that I find in the whole farming agricultural industry is that many people who are involved in farming and who are and have been getting involved in farming are doing so because number one they want to make a difference they want to contribute they want to help put uh, food on the tables of, of people in their houses and in their homes and as the world population increases agriculture is going to be needed more now uh, than ever before and so uh, getting involved in small-scale farming and agriculture uh, one way would be to make a difference as well number two there is just a lot of diversity in the field many people don't understand this many people may not realize it or know this but there is a lot of diversity in the field of agriculture and in farming there are growers, uh, there are technicians, there are food safety personnel, uh, there are marketing specialists, there's banking and finance in, in agriculture, uh, there's obviously the equipment and equipment sales and production and manufacturing of, of equipment. Uh, there's just so many areas uh, that are involved in agriculture and farming and, and as well as in the Dominican Republic you can find a lot of these various um, uh, areas emphasized and focused on in the Dominican Republic within small farming. And in agriculture and so over the next couple of weeks we'll take a look at some of those various sectors and we'll learn a little bit um, about it and how we can help you as you think about and perhaps plan uh, for your foray into small farming in the Dominican Republic agriculture number three is everywhere agriculture is everywhere look around you look around you it's in the countryside it's sometimes it's in the cities you'll see people doing small gardens or more small uh, gardening plots um, you'll, you'll see it uh, obviously if you go to the supermarket you may go to a farmers market you can see the, the results of agriculture uh, perhaps you're taking a drive in the city maybe you're going from uh, Santo Domingo to Punta Cana or uh, from Bonao to uh, to Puerto Plata, you will see farming and farms, and they're just going to be all around you. And so this is one of the reasons why I find it so intriguing and fascinating. Uh, again, many people overlook it. Many people don't even think about it, but it is all around us. Number four, the fourth thing I would say, is that technology increases every day. Technology increases every day, and therefore, so does the intrigue in agriculture and farming, and how this technology can be applied to to agriculture and to apply to farming, and how to um, to 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 increase uh, your production, how to increase your 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 harvest, how to uh, maintain your soils, and and things of this nature, and how technology can help you. And so, we're going to take a look at some of that as well, and and I think this is a fascinating topic as we. Uh, uh, delve into some of the aspects of perhaps owning your own farm in the Dominican Republic. Fifthly, I would say this is that overall agriculture, the agricultural industry is growing. It is growing. And we're going to look at some of the elements of why it's growing and why it has and continues to grow in the Dominican Republic. And you're probably going to see a little bit of that on the next video uh, where we talk a little bit more specifically about agriculture and agricultural growth in the Dominican Republic. And just stay tuned and be patient. We're getting there. You're going to get some valuable information, but I'm giving you all this information by way of background first because I think it's very, very um, important. And so you ask, what are the topics? I've gotten a few people who've already emailed me, who've already asked me uh, to, to talk about certain subjects, but we're going to talk about farming and small scale farming in the Dominican Republic. We're gonna talk about vegetable farming. We're gonna talk about fruit farming. We're going to talk about livestock farming, um, how to buy a farm, how much does it cost possibly to, to buy a farm, or what type of a budget do you need to, to um, uh, buy a farm, perhaps financing uh, of, of land and farm. 
land in the Dominican Republic. We're going to talk a little bit about the history and the various areas of the Dominican Republic where their farming is concentrated. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the history of agriculture uh, in the Dominican Republic um, as well. In time and when possible, uh, I will be able to take you uh, on some farms with me uh, in the Dominican Republic to show you some of the farms that are going to be of quite interest to you, the various types of farming uh, as we move along. Uh, we'll see some of that in the Dominican Republic. Right now it's a little difficult simply because of what's going on with the COVID problem. Uh, I have not been able to uh, take the time at this point to go to the Dominican Republic, but we'll be going very shortly, so stay tuned uh, for that. Again, as I said, we're going to be talking about how to purchase one how to safeguard your investment, how to protect your uh, your investment, your land, your equipment, these things like this of this nature, which I think are very, very important. This channel, this channel, believe me, is for you to hopefully get ideas uh, to cause you to think about some other possible ways that you may want to invest in the Dominican Republic. I think it's the wave of the future. I think it's a it's a good thing to, to think about and to get involved in. Um, as I mentioned just at the beginning of this video, it does help your community. It helps others put food on their table. It will certainly perhaps help you have food on your table and help you to make fun money. So that's what this is going to be all about. Help you buy it, help you develop it, help you farm it, help you sell the products. I hope you'll be benefited by the information that I present here. Thank you so much for joining. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.